Now, as we mentioned before, your larger spreaders do provide a bit of a challenge. Um, and, and that's because the rate we're spreading at a kilo per hectare is quite a low rate to what we would normally spread product at. Um, what we'll find is typically our chokes are set right back, um, but we need to again do a calibration. Uh, for, for machines that have got uh, a, a computer or a controller, uh, in most cases you'll need to set that to a small seed setting and adjust the rate right down uh, and the, the rate will be adjusted automatically. Um, for manual adjust systems like this, typically what we'll do is take one of the spinners off, uh, mount a calibration bucket here, um, and then operate the, uh, the spreader for a set period of time. Uh, typically that's a couple of minutes. Um, We'll then measure the, the weight of material uh, that's gone into the bucket and, uh, and do a calculation then of what travel speed we need, assuming a, a spread width of 36 metres. It's also important to remember that we're only measuring one side, so when we're doing our calculations for, uh, for volume applied, we're obviously going to be doubling it because we've got two spinners on this particular machine. Now, for say your transfer spread belt uh, style uh, spreaders um, can be done in a very similar sort of fashion. Um, one of the, again, one of the challenges is uh, it's just choking that volume of material flowing onto the spinners right down. And what can be done is uh, just closing the orifice up using uh, a piece of, of, of stiff uh, belt rubber um, with some smaller holes cut into it that then will um, push material down on, onto the spinners. So we just need to close that, that door right up, um, have it a low setting, but then also uh, narrow the width, uh, basically, of that door so that the, uh, the volume of, of bait travelling onto the spinners is reduced. Yeah. So let's have a look at how we might go about calibrating a linkage or trailing spreader for spreading mouse bait. Again, we've got to leave our 50 metre buffer zone around the edge of the crop and to any native vegetation. We've assumed here that the spreader can spread to 36 metres which is probably pretty normal for a modern machine. We've got our targeted flow rate or application rate of one kilogram per hectare. And what we want to measure is the amount of material flowing over one of the spinners in a given period of time. In this example, we've measured it at 1.2 kilograms every minute. Remembering there are two spinners, that equates to 2.4 kilograms per minute. 2.4 kilograms per minute should be spread over 2.4 hectares every minute, which means that our travel speed needs to be about 667 metres per minute or about 40 kilometres per hour. If we notice that our bait is going through a little fast or a little slow, we may want to adjust our travel speed to accommodate that. Now, it's important to remember that uh, once we've done that initial calibration process, much like the 12 volt um, spinners, we are probably gonna to have to do a little bit of iteration uh, and make some fine adjustments. And in most cases, that's just gonna be simply our travel speed. Um, it's not too hard to, uh, to get these things pretty close to the mark. Uh, and in most cases, your calibration charts will help you do that. Uh, it just comes down to travel speed uh, to make those finer adjustments and ensure you're getting one kilogram per hectare of bait spread uh, and spread pretty uniformly across the paddock.